To gain a better understanding of the basics, we're going to make some simple models using only geometric shapes. First, a simple flat band. Under the heading of solid figures, left click on the pipe icon. Rename it, band one. Next to material, click on the hand and choose 18 karat white gold from the materials database. Next, enter the coordinates. In the X box, press zero on your keyboard and then tab. Tab will take you down to the Y measurement. Zero again, tab down to Z, zero one more time. Now we're looking at the diameter measurement. Let's enter 17 mils. Tab one more time to take us down to the width measurement. This one six. And lastly, tab one more time down to the thickness measurement. In this case, we'll enter 1.8 and tab. After pressing the tab key, we'll see the preview on the screen. Now, let's pretend the OXY plane is our tabletop. The ring is lying flat down on the table. We want it to stand up on its end. We could use the rotate function to rotate it around, but we can also change the plane we're building on. Over here in reference plane, we'll click on the hand and then select the OXZ plane by clicking on the yellow line. This will flick our item into another plane. Looking from a side perspective, we can see the pipe is being built from the plane. To center it, we can give it a negative Z value that is half of its height. In this case, minus three, tab. We can now see our pipe, 17 mils diameter, six mils wide, 1.8 mils thick, sitting at zero, zero, zero. Validate. Let's try something a little more complicated and combine the geometry of several simple shapes. Right click on the pipe in the workspace and hide it. Now, left click on the OXZ plane and select the torus from the solid figures heading. By selecting the OXZ plane first, we can see it's been input into the properties so we're going to build directly in that orientation. Click on centering, to input x, y and z zero. We're going to enter a diameter of 17 and a thickness of four. Okay. In the workspace, we now have our torus and it's on the O, X, Z plane. Validate. Again, we're going to select the OXZ plane and then choose the cylinder. The X and Y coordinates will be zero, but we'll put the Z value at minus five, the diameter at 17, and the height will be 10. Validate. In our workspace, we can see the torus and we have a cylinder running through the center. If we freeze both of the items in the workspace, we can clearly see how they intersect each other. To get these objects to interact with each other, we're going to use what's called the Boolean function. Right click on the items in the tree and show them. Select the torus and hold the control key on your keyboard and select the cylinder. The control key allows you to select multiple items. Under the heading of special effects, the first tool you'll find is Boolean operations. In the properties you can see we have what's called a pick list. 
The boolean will be performed on all items in this list. You can add extra items by clicking on the plus, or you can trash items from the list by clicking on remove. You can also change the order of the items by using these arrows. We're going to choose add and validate. If we freeze our item again, you'll see it has removed the intersecting area from the inside of our object. Our object now contains a single volume. Go back to your tree and double click on the boolean operation and this time choose subtract and validate. Right click on our object in the history tree and show what we can see is it has cut the cylinder from the torus. Double click on the boolean items in the history tree one more time and this time choose intersect and validate. This time the intersecting area has been kept and the non-intersecting area has been removed. To continue on with this demonstration, let's go back to the booleans one more time. And this time click on subtraction and validate. So what we have is a torus that has been cut by a cylinder. We're going to do another intersection. We're going over to the radius box, x value of 0, y value of 0, and a z value of minus 12. We'll have a length of 24, a width of 3, and a height of 24, and validate. Selecting our ring in the center and holding control, we'll select the radius box and go to Boolean and intersect. We've now used that box to apply a flat edge onto the side of our band. 